uh, the legal charges that were um, brought against you. Uh, talk about uh, how tough that situation was to deal with and what actually was going in your life, the uh, tribulations you were dealing with in, in your personal life at the time. Yeah. Um, well, let's just, I'll start first and say that there were some legal charges brought against me that were all false and um, they're all being dropped. Um, so that big cloud of that negative has moved away from me. Initially, there was like a wave of um, just the bad publicity that comes with some, some negative. Um, those charges were just ludicrous. And my lawyer even said that it's just, just, and I'm not going to go into a ton of it. I'll just tell you that, it, that, that there are drops. They were false. But the, the bottom line was is that um, I had had been taking pain pills and and for so long, and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to explain this, is I had surgery after surgery after surgery. And before I knew it, I had bec become dependent on pain pills. Um, and it just, I just felt like, um, it seemed like it's like, you know, that the doctors kept prescribing them. I kept taking them and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, I've got, this must be okay. I've got to have them. Um, but then when that, when those charges happened and everything, I just said, you know, I said, that's it. I just told myself I'm quitting. I'm stopped taking them. I'm not doing it. And I went and I don't advise this, but I went cold turkey. I mean, the next day I said, no, I never again. I said, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to wonder when I'm going to take a pain pill because my knee hurts or my neck hurts or my back. 13 surgeries. I've had 13. Um, I've had, I've had three since I stopped opiates, which was over two years ago. And I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of the fact that I have, I beat it. I, you know, I know they say never say never, but I can never say never to a pain pill again in my life. I, I, my training, um, the, the way I go about taking care of myself, um, everything from the hot tubs at four, 5 a.m. when I get up to the ice packs. Um, uh, my, my wife is a nurse. She helped me through all of it, but it was a, it was a battle, man. I'm going to tell you, um, I, it was, it was tough, but I beat it. And I'm, I'm very proud of that. Um, I just could tell, you know, the first few days that, like I said, I went cold turkey, <laughs> but I, I, I'm just, I'm just so, I'm, I'm setting my ways about, I wasn't going to go to therapy and sit around in a circle and hold hands <laughs> and, and say, you know, sit and cry about it. I'm just, just like, that's it. I mean, a pill is not going to control my life. And I said, that's it. And I slammed it and that was it. But I mean, I was very, I mean, they, I was sick, man. I, there, I mean, for the first seven or eight days, I mean, <laughs> I'll just give you some examples. And anybody that has been through this, they'll know. Nausea, sick, vomiting, um, no energy. I mean, like, I feel like I laid on the couch for like seven, eight days. I feel that way. I don't know how long it was, of course. Barely had energy to do anything, um, but I was just not going to go back through that hell once I got to like week two and week three and things started getting better and better and better. And, you know, once I got over that hill of it finally got out of my system, I said, there is no way I'm going back through that hell to ever to do it again. I'm just not. So, um, and anybody who has dealt with that or been through that, um, it's not easy. I, and, and, and because of me, but, uh, you know, I thought, hey, I had a surgery, so I'm supposed to be taking this. <sighs> you, bottom line is, is that they can tell you, you need that you need this, whatever. You do not have to have it. You do not. There, I just, 
you know, I, because I've been through it and I know, and it's hard to stop it. But you, once you stop it, man, it's, it's such, it's such a, like a relief to have it gone out of your system. I just, I mean, that ranks up there with me with winning the all Japan titles is beating that crap. I just, I just feel so much better, man. I, everything, everything is good. Everything is good. I mean, I don't know if I answered your question like you wanted it or, but. No, you know, gosh, yeah. that, 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 that's amazing. And yeah. uh, like, I can speak personally because like we're in contact all the time. And uh, like, so the, the transformation is just amazing. I mean, the regiment uh, that you're on in the gym and everything and, Everything you got going on at the moment is is so yeah. positive and and uh, inspiring. So it's amazing to see uh, the trans uh, transformation that 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 you have made, and I think that'll help a lot of people going through. Um, hey man, uh, yeah, going through I, that stuff. Yes, I it, don't let anybody tell you that you have to have it and that you have to depend on it because you do not. Um, and don't fall into that trap. I mean, like I said, I, I've, I've had 13 surgeries. Just, I'm not bragging about it. I'm not, and I'm not putting anybody down if, if they are in that situation or if they're going through that vicious cycle of starting and stopping and starting and stopping. Just, you just got to say that's it and be done with it. Um, again, I'm, you know, I'm not up on a soapbox and <laughs> I'm not trying to pre preach to anybody how to live their life or anything. I'm just telling you that there's a better way. Um, and uh, I'm living proof of it, man. I just, I feel so much better. I mean, everything, it's amazing how much more clarity I have. And I'll give you an example, not to, to talk about merchandise, but all the stuff that I have just in the last year, year and a half of just all the stuff that I've been creative with, the ideas and stuff, and I've already launched. Now I've got I've got PWTs. I've got Wrestle Merch Central. I've got a UK toy company that's bringing out a new Atom Bomb figure. So man, it's just it's all good positive stuff. And um, just uh, you know, just step out of that negative zone. And and and, and the famous quote is from a, a famous football coach by the name of Vince Lombardi. Uh, you probably heard of him. He's his, yeah. say, his famous thing was God, family, and the Green Bay Packers. Well, mine is God, family, and the weight room <laughs> because weight training and and, and 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 just training and working out has was such a big part of my recovery. Getting all that out of my system um, and just working out every day and releasing those endorphins and being able to have that good feeling. Weight training and, and being in the gym has has been such a part of my life the whole all the way through it through the good and the bad, um, and it and it's still with me now. I mean, I'm in the gym every morning by by seven. Um, it's just my routine, man, and it it works. I just um, you know I've even added some yoga. I've added things that I didn't never really think I would do, but I've started that some of that. Um, but just, I don't rehash on stuff, but just, man, if you can quit it and just, just put your foot down and just, that's it. You can do it. I mean, I, and you don't have to go, go cold turkey like I did. <laughs> so that's, I, you know, that's just my way. Um, yeah. but like I said, it, right now, man, moving forward, it's just all positive stuff and, it's just, uh, it's good, man. I'm, 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 I'm a happy person.